My drawing skills are kind of mid. Kaya ko naman mag-drawing, pero I don't think that I'm really good at it. Kaya nung nag-reach out sa amin si Huyon for me to take a look at their Canvas 13, I knew what I will be using it for. Video editing. While I know that there's still a lot for me to learn about video editing, this is one of the things that I really enjoy doing. I use DaVinci Resolve Studio to edit, and I usually just use DaVinci Resolve Keyboard in my usual editing rounds. Well, this time, I think mababago na to kasi na-discover ko na ito pala ang isa sa mga easiest at best ways to edit videos here at the studio. This is the Canvas 13. I will not bore you with the full unboxing video, but here's everything you can find inside the box. No? You get this 13-inch tablet with full HD resolution, and apart from that, may kasama to na anti-glare matte film coating na already installed in the system. I will talk more about the details later on. You will also get this PW517 pen that uses battery-free electromagnetic resonance technology. May kasama rin siyang cleaning cloth, uh, drawing gloves, pen tray, tablet stand, at saka ilang manuals. Setting this up on my MacBook Air M2 is pretty easy. I connected the Type-C cable at the bottom part of the tablet and connected the other end to the USB 3.0 and HDMI on my accessory hub connected to the MacBook Air. While it is optional, you can buy their Type-C to Type-C cable for a more straightforward way of connecting the tablet to your laptop or computer. Hindi mo kailangan na isaksak ito sa outlet kasi kayang i-power ng laptop ang tablet. In fact, pwede mo rin gamitin ito sa Android phones and tablets as external display. Ang downside lang nito is dapat kang bumili ng Type-C cable na medyo makitid yung base para magkasya sa saksakan ng USB ng tablet. My existing uh, Type-C to Type-C cables did not fit kaya nauwi ako sa ganitong 3-in-1 Type-C cable nila. So, the way this works is para siyang touchscreen enabled na external monitor. Since it is highly optimized for creative task and pen input, mas marami kang pwedeng gawin dito. Hindi sobrang maliwanag ang display ng Canvas 13, which can be a bit concerning for some people, but it is not something that I did not mind at all. Gumagamit ng full lamination ang display ng Canvas 13. Meron siya, as I mentioned earlier, no? anti-glare qualities, kaya madaling makita yung ini-edit mo kahit may nakatutok na ilaw at may parang paper-like texture yung display giving users total immersion when doing their tasks. Ngayon, pag-usapan naman natin ang pen. Yung pen na to ay may pressure sensitivity qualities. In fact, pwede mo pa i-customize yan. No? While this does not matter to my workflow too much since I'm using this for video editing, suwak ito sa mga nagdo-drawing o gumagawa ng creative work using the pen. Nakakatawa rin na malaman na hindi ito kailangan ng battery for it to work. For pen specifications, it has 8192 pressure sensitivity levels, 266 PPS report rate para iwas lag yan pagka ikaw ay nagsusulat o nagdo-drawing, at 60 degree tilt support. Madaling navigate at gamitin ang tablet for my creative work. No? Mamaya may quick demo tayo pero napakalaking tulong ng 8 programmable buttons ng Canvas 13. I will walk you through later kung paano papalitan ito at anong keys ang i-assign sa mga buttons that makes everything easy for my DaVinci Resolve workflow. Hindi po ako hassler no? kung paano gumamit ng DaVinci Resolve but I'm just using this for me to easily do the tasks that I have to do. And before I forget, the pen also has two programmable buttons right over there, Yan. which gives you a total of 10 buttons total no? plus touch input on the Canvas 13. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit a portion of the videos I shot during the new product launch of Anchor. Gagamitin ko tong uh, Canvas 13. No? Ipapakita ko sa inyo kung ano yung mga use ng mga programmable buttons at kung paano mas uh, dumaling mag-edit para sa akin. So, let's go. Okay, the first thing we need to do is to put this on. Malaking tulong yan para madali mong gamitin yung tablet. Hindi magre-register ang finger mo doon sa tablet because this will only respond uh, with uh, the included pen. No? Now, the next thing you need to do is to turn on who yung tablet app. No? This is what you use to assign certain keyboard shortcuts on the buttons mismo sa uh, Canvas 13. Now, you can also assign uh, keyboard shortcuts on the digital pen. No? If you click it like that. Now, in my case, um, I will assign certain buttons exclusively para sa DaVinci Resolve. No? I have one also for Adobe Photoshop, but this, since I don't use it that much, I'll just use uh, certain key commands or shortcuts for this particular application right here. 
Now, eh, for the Vinci Resolve, we have uh, this button for space, this one naman for shift delete, no? for ripple delete. Now, for pen display naman for keys, we have A, B. Uh, we can uh, rebind this one. Uh, the middle buttons are for up and down, so we can go, we can we can jump from one clip to another, and then we have uh, uh, equal sign and minus sign. We can rebind this for plus minus para mapa zoom in and out natin yung timeline natin. And this one at the end is Z, which is to undo, no, to undo certain uh, actions. Now we fire up now the Vinci Resolve. Para we can start uh, editing some videos that we took during the event of Anchor. So, nabuksan ko na yung Anchor na, ano natin, na timeline natin. What we're going to do is we're going to add some clips. So, let's go to File, Import, Media. And then we will add clips from our SSD right there. It's quite a number of uh, clips, but we will not be using all of these now. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Okay, so let's uh, look for some product shots that I did. Uh, this is one. Okay, this is one as well. Okay, we can drag this over here. Let's jump to our edit panel. Now, uh, as you can see, we can use uh, this button to play. So, try natin yan. If we can uh, do it, no? If it doesn't, what we can do is just simply go to this digital pen. Uh, this should register yung space, no? Let's just do it again. Let's rebind it. And, and if it still doesn't work, what we can do is... Uh, yon, it's working now. Good. And uh, we can change these buttons, yung dalawang buttons sa baba, no? Uh, for zoom in and out of the timeline, which would be like this, okay? So I'm doing it now with the keyboard, just to confirm. I think we're we will be able to do that, no? I think the rebind na pala yan, as, as far as I know. Let's go check it out. Um, yeah, so equal, that's a command equal, command minus. And if you go to our timeline, it should register like this. There you go, perfection. Para easier for us to see kung ano yung mga certain points of uh, the ones that we want to edit. And to cut certain portions, we start from here. This is the button for cut. This one, B. We press the B button and then cut from here. This one, we use this button, itong taas, taas ng space, for shift delete. Boom. Shift delete. There you go. Easy. And then at the end, the man is. Uh, we can go from here to here. And then click this. B. A. And then that's it. Andale. It's very easy. So we now have one clip. Let's play it. Now this one is. I think it was just a shot on the 60 FPS. We have to get rid also of the the music there for us to not be uh, penalized by Google. Now, let's color it. Uh, we will add one node. We should be able to add one node here. And add node tayo dito. Corrector. Let's attach it there. Let's go to LUTs. We have a few iPhone conversion kits here. So we can change it. Grab it there. There. I don't want this, so let's undo that. I have a few ones pa. I'm using Pro Lost uh, Apple Log Conversions. Maybe we can use this instead. There you go. Perfect. And then what we're going to do is to just change the lift. We increase that a bit. And then we change temperature. And then increase the contrast level, color boost up because it's mga kulay ng konte. Okay, it can still be improved. Uh, definitely not the best right there, but uh, what's important is we're able to use it. No? Okay, let's do it again. Now this time, what we're going to do is we're going to add one more clip. This one right here. I want this. But... 
let us cut certain portions a b cut a delete that i'm just using the pen right now and also the shortcuts on the canvas 13 a b cut then b good then what we're going to do is we're going to apply the same one right here let's add a corrector node and then let's convert it oh it's not connected yet there you go and then we just increase it a bit and then taasan natin ng konti yung Now we increase that. So we have to put some details right there. Shadow, let's increase it a bit. Madilim kasi yung lugar eh, kaya medyo challenging to edit. And then let's lift it 20 pa. Temperature should be like this to make it a little bit true to the original. Perfect, perfect, perfect. <laughs> As you can see, it's, it's, a little, it's very easy to use. Uh, I can lean also on that because there is a protective layer, no? so there's no need to worry about it. Uh, I don't have any problem. It's really built uh, really tough. No? So far, so good. No? Uh, we did uh, mostly using this one. Very easy to use. In fact, Feeling ko nga mas madali pang gamitin to doon sa DaVinci Resolve keyboard, no? Pero that's just me. Uh, I think in tandem, no, the DaVinci Resolve uh, keyboard plus this one will be a very good, um, uh, if I may say, uh, combination, no? Uh, for your editing workflow. I am happy with the wealth of things you can do with the Canvas 13. This is not yet even its highest variant. My Canvas Pro 13, Pro 16, at Pro 24, no, meron din na mga 4K display variants. No, I cannot wait to use this even more as my new editing tool. Pero syempre, this is not the last time you'll see me using this device. No? Can I really use this on my Android phone? Gaga na rin ba siya sa iPhone 15 Pro Max? Kasi may Type-C na, no? yung iPhone 15. Can I also play games na optimized for touch input using the Canvas 13 on my uh, PC no? or laptop gaming PC? You will find out soon. So be sure to subscribe so you won't miss out on our videos. The Canvas 13 is now available in the Philippines for $11,990 sa Lazada Shop ng official Huion Philippines. I have a link down below kung gusto mong bumili. That's it for our video today. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Gian of Gadget Pilipinas. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!